Peace and welcome to another Bible study with the Israelite Nation Worldwide Ministries. We're coming to you from uh, the Atlanta, Georgia branch, and we are excited to be here. Um, uh, and I just want to thank our brethren, our guests, our friends, you know, for tuning in uh, today. So uh, my name is Elder Denise and with me we have Elder Dexter. Um, and again, we're excited to be here and wanting to get into the message. So um, before I get started, uh, Elder Dexter, one of the things I wanted to do is yeah. just kind of start with, you know, um, Psalm 73, 1, and it says, okay. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. Wow. You know, and when you say that, it's like, that clean heart, that's a righteous, that's mm -hmm. a humble, that's an obedient heart. Mm -hmm. So I just want to start with that. Our God is good, and he is a God of blessings and right. protection. Right. Okay. And conditions, too. Yes. He didn't say he's God to everybody. No. And not only to Israel, but with a clean heart. So that's it's just right. So our God's a God of conditions. Yes. You can't come to him all willingly uh, and, and do whatever. No. Right? He requires certain things. And you should. No. Yes, exactly. The creator of all things, he's a righteous right. God. Right. And a God of laws, statutes, commandments, precepts. So if you're coming to him, we have to come with him pure. Right. And, and, you know, as you think about it, it's like a child. Mm -hmm. Our children... They're pure, they're, they're, they are humble, they're obedient, they listen. The good children anyway, right? <laughs> right. So that's, and that's how we have to come, and that's what he deserves from his children, right. you know, that pure heart. Um, so, you know, in addition to that, uh, one of the things that I just want to um, also, you know, kind of preface today's message um, our Bible, it's, it's a history book. Mm -hmm. It's a history book about um, the relationship between our God and the people that he's chosen from all the people of the earth. Yes. And that's the children of Israel. Um, the book, it is very um, precise. Yes. Um, our book, it was written, you know, by Israel, for Israel, mm -hmm. and about Israelites. Right. You know, and that... I want to make sure that, that our viewers and, and, of course, our brethren mm -hmm. and those that watch us frequently, you know that. Um, and today, again, we're going to have a, a nice time. And, and if there's anything that, that we're sharing that you agree with, you like, please put sevens and fires in the chat. Um, and then if, for those of you that have been watching and you want to join this family, please look in the link below in the description, you know, to click on and, and to join this family. And someone will definitely, you know, get back with you. Put your questions, comments, put all of that in the in the comments, right. you know? And, and if you don't agree, you. that's yeah. fine. And in that's comments, okay. put the question there. You know, if you, don't, if you don't agree, that's fine. That's fine. Guess what? <laughs> it's not for everyone. That's right. But guess what? In regards to the scripture, mm -hmm. you can answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Right, so bring them. That's exactly. fine. We're, we're cool with it. You know? Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and I think about, again, our book, it's it's a user, it's it's our user, user manual, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that use, that manual, it, it, it shows, it has a precise, you know, detailed, you know, detailed information on how I'm to act, how we're to act individually, how we're to relate and interact with one right. another, and how we're to interact with our God, how we're to behave when it comes to that relationship. Right. I mean, just perfect precision in all right. that we do. And let's be real, because our God is not a God of confusion. No, he's not. He's specific, you know, from, That's from, right. from, from beginning to the end, he's going to tell you what he expects from you. That's right. And when you want that, when you want to know was expected. Right. Why guess? Exactly. While you can see it written in black and white, this is what you should do. Right. 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 And if you're not sure what to do, you look for an Israelite. That's correct. Right? For the Israelite. That's right. And it will teach you what you should do. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And again, this is our manual. We all, it, I mean, look, when we all, anything that I buy that requires assembly, the first thing I yeah. reach for right. is the user manual right. because I want to make sure when I put that together, it doesn't fall on the floor, right? And it's going to do what it's designed to do. So, 
the creator of all things, he created everything with a purpose. So he knows the ins and outs and why he did what he did, right? right? So, I mean, if you want to know that, that what's going to be the best for you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, why not go to the source, the creator, mm -hmm. which created you? So we can't go wrong that way. And, you know, and I say I reach for my manual and I know in my life, you know, I've had uh, nephews, uncles, males don't usually want to go to the manual. And <laughs> I, I've had to, no. I'm serious, <laughs> Correct I, <it. laughs> I have had to, you know, reassemble. So elders, fathers, <laughs> brothers, nephews pick up that manual don't be afraid it's okay you know pick up your manuals and you know make sure the assembly is correct so your sister your auntie your wife like well, if don't it, well, it fits so it must work right <laughs> right you turn it on you things all backwards <laughs> don't the door don't shut <laughs> you, know? you want to make sure that everything is working perfectly so you know in preparation for um this this you know, our topic today, mm -hmm. you know, I was laying in bed and I was like, you know, what, what do I want my next lesson to be on? And it felt like what just kind of floated down mm -hmm. to me, what came was like, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was like, wow, because you hear that a lot, mm -hmm. you know. So in thinking about that, I thought, you know what, let's, let's look into that. Let's see, you know, what that's all about. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And this verse, we can find it, uh, we can go into the book of Isaiah. And I, and of course, Isaiah prophesied, um, is, he prophesied about the disobedience, the corruption uh, of Israel, their Babylonian capture, uh, when they uh, return from exile. And he also talked about, you know, the coming of the Messiah, you know? Um, wonderful so let's go to um let's go ahead and go to um isaiah um and we can go to isaiah 54 and verse 17 oops okay five okay verse 17 <clears throat> no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise <clears throat> against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. You know, in George Floyd, just his death, I mean, you know, so many, the, the young lady that was with her boyfriend, mm -hmm. they broke in her house, to, uh, you know, and I, I just can't remember all the names because it's just so many. Right, so many. The young girl in Texas, I mean, yeah. it just... It goes on and on and on. You know, so many we will forget. You know, but the thing is, they still they didn't really change. No, a condition. Nothing, nothing for us, and it continues to happen. Right. You know what I mean? It, it just continues to happen, and it's just, I, I it's hard to kind of dwell on it mm -hmm. and talk about it because, it is it is hurtful. You mm -hmm. know, the things that are happening, but. It, are they in that space that this covers them? So we're going to talk about that a little bit more. We know, but, um, as far as them, those those people, you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's some people who do they don't care about the names, like the, was the Black Lives Matters. Yeah, it's so important for them to, to call those names. Yeah, that's like it's ancestral so, worship. Right, exactly. That's not exactly. what we're. That's we not what that we're kind to of do. No. See, instead we we get solutions. That's correct. You can cry. You can. This this it is sad. Yeah, it I'm, is. I'm not saying it that. Is. We're saying what. Can we change? Yeah. We can do you the same thing over and over. over what again. happens? Mm -hmm. If we get killed, we have a candlelight visual, mm -hmm. we cry and pray and march, yeah. and it happens again. Yeah. Right? It happens again. It's, it, but it's that cycle of death. It's right. that cycle of death that we have to break because if we don't, I mean, and, and this, when I talk about this, well, Jacob is the family, you right. know? But they just don't know, don't know who they are. 
You know, they don't walk in that space of freedom. Cycle of bondage. Life. Yes, they, right. they're just staying in that cycle of bondage. And that death, and it, you recycling death, nothing, yeah. you can't get life out of that. Okay. You know what I mean? So, you know, but Insanity. every- Insanity. Yeah, <laughs> it is the same Over thing. It, it's not, it's yeah. not gonna change. It, it won't, it won't, and it's just sad. But every tongue that shall rise against mm. thee, O Israel, in judgment thou shalt condemn. Yeah. And how can, how can Israel, Israel can do that because <laughs> Israel, we are the servants of the Most High God. We know His laws, statutes, and commandments. So because of that, we have the right, right. and that's been given to us by our right. God, to condemn those that do wrong right. against us because we are the children of right. God. Right. We were different sorts. We were different sorts. Right. That's correct. See, see, we could say no now. You can't do this to us. Yes. We're, the, we're Israelites. Yes. But those Jacobites who follow the same guy as the people who oppress them, the, the, they're going to cry too. That's correct. You're crying to their God. Right, right. You, know, you can't, you know. it makes no sense. No, no. And, it, and it's just, Come again, out of her. Come out of her. Yes, yes. That's what has to happen. You know, and, and, and again, it goes in, this is the heritage of the servants of God. We are the servants mm -hmm. of God. So the servants are the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And this is, and we're gonna see even more of that, mm -hmm. um, who Isaiah is talking about. Um, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Our righteousness is of our God. So we have, and this is who he's talking about, no weapons that are formed against the children of Israel shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment we have the right to condemn. Right. We do. Um, and it, he's already said it. It's our heritage. It's what we've inherited from our God. Um, and, and this verse is definitely, it's definitely a back it's, end. It's so full. Right, and it's definitely a back end. I mean, back end means yes. after you've already done what you need to do. That's right. Then you get this protection. That's so correct. Don't expect to do whatever. No. Oh, I, can, no. I, can, I can do this. No, 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 a, no. a bullet muscle on my chest. <laughs> That's not gonna happen up in here. No, right. I can stand in front of a train. No, like Superman, and I can start a train. <laughs> what? That's not. I gonna see, see a, you see the clan come with with, with the, the the loose and hang. Don't worry. Right. <laughs> it's I'm not just, against me. I yeah. can't. You no. got a weapon. You can't for me. It won't hurt me. No. Nah. No. See, you no. gotta do it right first. You There's a condition. Right first. There's a condition. And what we're gonna talk about. So what we're gonna cover today in this in just talking more about this is. Who is the the? Who is the the? Isaiah is speaking about. Um, who are the saints? Uh, what are the conditions required for Isaiah fifty four seventeen to apply to you? Weapons, and we're going to look at some of the weapons that were formed against the God of Israel and His children. And then we're going to finish up with um, some good news. Okay, with ah, some good, good news. news. Yes. So, Elder Dexter, let's go ahead and and, and go into. Who is the the? We've kind of already established that, though. Who is the the Isaiah is speaking about? So let's let's take a look. Ah, oh, these are the best. And let's go to Amos three, verses one through two, and it says, and of course, our book for about to Israel. So, hear the word of the Lord. Uh, hear this word that the Lord hath against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which are brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You know, when I first came wearing that verse, uh, I was like, wow. That's, <laughs> isn't I'm that his light, but we all get punished, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes. But still, you know, but you know, guess what? As a parent, you only punish your, own, your children, own children. Right? You That's right. Else. You, get, you get blocked for that. That's right. right. You don't go across the street, <laughs> yeah, and you're you not that concerned. That. You're I right. mean, because they have parents. Their parents, exactly. they are going right. to, yeah. So we, of all the families of the earth, Israel, the children of Israel, of all the families of the earth, and he says, listen, I'm telling you, O children of Israel, my children, against the whole family, I have brought you, you Israel, out of Egypt. And all the way through our scriptures, we're always reminded, you know, I brought you That's out of Egypt. I brought you out of Egypt. Yes. Also, a, accountability. I brought you out of bondage. Accountability, because you have yes. punished the way. You, you did, did something wrong. Yep, if disobedient. He, if, if he didn't care, 
It's the wrong. Well, whatever. Right. Right. He does. He care. He does care. Yes. For his people. Yes. Not guide them on the, all the all the little children. Yes. That's what they say, right? <laughs> he loves all the children. Come on. Let's be real. Let's, yes. let's talk facts here. Yes. Uh, no. Let's talk truth. Because facts yes. change. That's right. Let's talk That's truth. Correct. Yes. He loved his people, Israel. That's right. He brought us out of Egypt. Egypt right. Yes. yes. He never he never forgets that. Remind you what happened in Egypt. Right never forget because that's right. Our guy, you know, he's a, he's a guy that loves the small numbers. Yes, and he took the small number of, of, of Israel, Israel and just toppled down in Egypt. Yes, yes. Egypt had never seen the power again that's as we right. were in those days. And never no, seen it they, again. They've never, never reached, recovered. No, never. No. And they're not though. They're not right because again. God said so. Mm -hmm. You know, Put his you foot on their mess neck. with my children. Yeah, and. They had so many opportunities right. to turn that around, but we're going to talk about that too a little later. Mm -hmm. um, so, out of all the people of the earth, he's only known his mm -hmm. chosen, and that's yeah. Israel. So that that is the the yeah. that he's talking about, not mm -hmm. the world, but Israel, only Israel. So let's go also. You better be one of these. If you know, if you yes, know, I want to be the the. Up, you better be a the. Yes, I want to be. <laughs> you be a the. the. Because it is an honor to be the V. Now let's go to Leviticus. Let's go ahead and turn to Leviticus 25. Um, and we we go. If you were yeah. a V, put some fire ah, in the room. Yes. Put some sevens. <laughs> like like this channel. Like it. You know what you hear. And also donate to us so we can still give you this content. This, yes. Well, you would never hear and see. Anywhere in this world, yes. this kind of content, this information, this truth, you cannot find it anywhere, anywhere. in the planet. Nowhere. That's right. Nowhere. But this nation, the yes. Israelite nation. Amen. So join us. If you feel it, join us. If you hear it, come and be a part of this That's great right. nation. Move. Get moving. Ditto. Don't don't wait. Don't wait. Don't delay like like we heard we hear about Abraham. Right. He don't wait. Right. And next day he's early. on it. So early. don't wait. That's Get right. on it. That's right. Get right. on it. And you can't lose. You have right. everything to gain. Exactly. Everything to gain. There you go. And stop believing the lie because mm -hmm. and that's that's our role. Part yeah. of our role is to help to uncover, to pull the 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 blinds back so that people can see. Yes. Really see the truth, you know? Um, because the noise and everything else is very loud, yeah. you know? And they can't just like the car that just went by. Right, <laughs> right. If I was there. Very loud. Well, it's, it's so true. Yes. It's distractions. People yes. don't see the truth. The lights, the right? bells, the whistles. They hear what people say. Yeah. See, see, if you're trying to learn about this doctrine mm -hmm. of the Bible, who was given to the Israelites, and said, Hero Israel. Yes. You don't go to somebody Israel. else. That's right. And right? ask. If, if, if I wanted to, uh, to, uh, to learn how to bake, mm -hmm. I don't go to a to a masonry, right? No. I learn. I, I go to a baker. That makes sense. Right? So yes. you go to the tenant. Was Israel was was told to teach this doctrine. That's right. To teach it. Exactly. Give it. So you go to the Israelite. That's right. And learn this doctrine. Exactly. Amen. All right. So Elder Dex, we're going to go to Leviticus okay. 25 okay. and verse 55. But what I want to do, we always, I mean, again, I just want to look up at, um, I do want to go to 55, but I just want to real quick read um, verses and to see, we know that this is, uh, Moses, uh -huh. the Leviticus is the law, uh, where the law was given. We have so many uh, here, but I want to go to verse 1, and it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land, then, then he goes on and keeps, you know, you keep the Sabbath, then thus. So we see Moses is starting off talking. He's in the mountain of Sinai, speaking to the children of Israel. So let's go down to 55. So nobody's confused. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord, Good. your God. I am the Lord, Very your God. Specific. specific. That's what I love. Such precision. Nobody else is God. You can't get your confused. God. Yes. Oof. He is the God of the creator of all mm. things. He is a God to the children of Israel. And that's something you said. The children. He created everything. Yes. Right? Yes. But only a God to Israel. Only a God to Are Israel. Are you kidding me? Only wow. a God. Wow. Yes. And, and the beautiful thing, though, 
it's available to everybody. Right. But you have to come in and right. obey what he go. says. That's right. part of the condition. Right. You can't do what you want to do willy-nilly. Right. Now you can with the other the and little gods, g yeah. gods, Many gods with the there. other philosophies, you can do that. Yeah. But with this God, the creator of heaven and earth, this life manual that he's given us, yeah. he has specific instructions that we must follow in order to avail ourselves of his blessings, his protection, all of that. That's, that's of the way Israel it is. Are my children are servants. We are the servants the of servants. the Most High God. And Man. if we're servants, we're servants. We obey. We're yeah. humble. Yeah. You know what I mean? We right. fear him. We're going to do what right. thus saith the Lord. And something about us, you know, that's where we're, we're built. We're built to be servants. That's right. Now, whether we serve the God of Israel. That's right. Or man. That's We are built precise. to be servants. That's right. And and listen, I love I love that because in and when you as you say that, I think about that's that's in our DNA yeah. as a people to right. serve. Now, if we don't serve our God, you're going to be somebody else's, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what? Yeah, yeah. You're going to be someone else's yeah. poor. That's what you're going to be. Yeah. You are. Listen, and I think about one of the little rappers that that um, has this video, and it mm -hmm. is just... Vulgar, mm -hmm. it is. Well, now they're all vulgar nowadays. I mean, it's just and the, the, <laughs> the young oh, ladies boy. are just half naked. Too, and yeah. just, it is. It's really. It's really mm. appalling. It's. But again, if we don't serve our God with discretion and and righteousness, you're gonna be just. You're gonna be a. You're gonna be like a whore yeah. to everybody else because your role, our role, is in our DNA to, to serve. Yeah. If we don't serve our God. Um, and walk righteously and obediently and humbly before him and, that's and that's beautiful that. before him we're going to be the whores of the world that's and that's, that's what you see and we're supposed to be a, a peculiar treasure yes that's how he describes it, a peculiar, peculiar treasure family. his inheritance wow the inheritance of the almighty God of mm -hmm. all gods his he loves us yeah. we are special and we said we earlier no weapon shall harm you. No, no. And they try. You, you, you condemn them. Right. Now, I yeah. love it. So with yeah. those that are being hurt and harmed mm -hmm. and just defiled, what well, all the world can see, mm -hmm. right? They don't, this protection, it, they can't avail themselves can. of this protection. But we can visually see that. Yeah. We just said it. What's his name again? George Floyd mm -hmm. and the, all the Millions, others, yeah. all the others that are just they because just, they they're subscribed to that they're, and they're aligned in that same, you know, spiritual. See, they're they're aligned the same spiritually. It's, it's so, just March. Yeah. See, and March then it isn't bad if like we think about other marching with with, with, with Joshua. Mm -hmm. See, in March that's correct. Live. With, with a spiritual component, for, right. that's for you. Right. Marching is different. Right. But now we march. To our right. oppressors, right? We look now. Why would your oppressor <laughs> want to start oppressing you? Right. They're making money off of your impress, impression. That's right. You no, know, your, your treatment, your, right. your treatment. That's all. Right. They want to change. Right. right. They want to say, okay, we'll give you a, we'll give you a, a, a black history month. Right. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. Right. Yeah. They had that. But yeah, dangling that's not your carrot. history. Right. Right. That's not your freedom month. Right. That's August. That's right. That's your freedom. That's your freedom. That's right. See, see, you, you dangling for crumbs. That's right. And dancing right? and just shucking and, and, and jiving. For and it's all reverse. Foolishness. See, yeah. you should be at a table and yes. give the crumbs to others. That's right. Right. It's that's all right. backwards. And that's you what we see pass the for the crumbs from the table from from people who are who don't know the that's truth right. of God. That's right. It's all messed up. Everything is backwards. Flip it around. Right. Everything flip it everything around. Is Yep. And know who you are. You are the Israelite. Right. Yes. You are the Israelite. You are what the, the God of Israel said, a peculiar yeah. people, yes. special unto him. him. That's you. Amen. You Amen. sit at the table. That's right. And you give the crumbs to the people who, who want to learn. That's right. Right. And once they feel and understand, they can join the table as well. Right. That's but right. But you, 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 you sitting there eating from the tail from the from the from the heathens that's right eating the pigs and the, and the swine that's right and all that stuff that's it's right. all backwards mm -hmm. if you like what you hear fire fire in the chat and sevens light it up the, light light the room up <laughs> light it up 
You see at the table, you Israelite. I'm sitting at the upper room, the table. <laughs> right? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, and, and, and again, you know, brought us out of the land of Egypt. And we are in the mm -hmm. new Egypt today. Yeah, we are. And we have yeah, just... We you know, so what we're going through, we've transitioned from yeah. our four parents came here in 16, August 1619, yeah. and that 400 year was August yeah. um, 2019. Mm -hmm. So that 400 year, we've transitioned out of that. So we're going to see the, you know, and if, if that's what happened to the Egypt of old, mm -hmm. can you imagine what's going to happen to this new Egypt? Mm -hmm. People wake up. You know, our freedom is at hand. Yes. Wake up. Yes. Wake up. Yes. Get up. Yes. Because the guys of Egypt and Rome are here. They're here today. Yes. They're yes, all here they today. Are. Amen. All right, Elder Dexter. So what we're going to do now? Let's go ahead and go back over to Isaiah. Isaiah? So we're going to go to Isaiah fifty-one. So we're still again talking about who is the V. So we've seen in Amos the V is Israel, um, in Leviticus. Israel, the servants of the God of Israel. And then, of course, um, oh, you know, I'm sorry. First Peter? Yeah, First Peter. I'm so sorry. Let's go to First Peter 2 9. And everybody knows this. Yes. We love. What? You go on in the New Testament? Yes. In the New Testament, is talking about Israel? Let's go to. What about New Christianity? Testament. Where's it at? Yeah, and when that word was used, that term was used in Christianity, wow. it was used in a derogatory yes, way. It was. Yes, it was. Derogatory way. So in um, First Peter chapter 2, in verse 9, and again, Peter was an Israelite, and he's um, an apostle, Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, um, uh, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, the first one. Anyway, we're going to go all the way down to verse 9, and it says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So Israel, we are the chosen generation. We are this royal priesthood of the almighty spirit of all spirits, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. We are a holy nation unto him. We are this special people unto our God. And we at one time, and yes, he called <coughs> us out of darkness into the light. And that, again, is what we're doing. We want to bring our brethren and everyone that wants to do what is right out of darkness into the light. We're shining the light in the darkness and we want people to see this and come in. So this this is the V that Isaiah is talking about. This royal priesthood, this holy nation of God's people. This is the V. And when we're walking in this righteousness and holiness and humbly before our God, we any time we go and do whatever we have to do, no weapon that is formed against us will prosper. It can't prosper. Right. It, it just can't. You know, and, and it just, it amazes me how, you know, and I've heard um, so many people, Elder Dexter, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of Christians use this scripture, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yeah. But you see you know, so much that happens in the, the black churches and, and just, you know, just every aspect of life, things just continues to happen, mm -hmm. you know, just death all mm -hmm. around, you yeah. know? Right, and what you say, the the V, the V. The V. Mm -hmm. So, are you a V? <laughs> are you one of them Vs? Oh, you a Christian, you ain't one of them Vs you talking no, about. You, no. you, one of, you one of those. If you're not an Israelite. <laughs> you one of those over there. You, yeah. the, you one of the others. The others, right? <laughs> in that movie, the others. <laughs> the others. I like that movie too. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it too. Mm -hmm. But it was about demons, but they were dead. Yes. They were the, the others. They were the, 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 the people who were dead, walking dead. They didn't even That's realize they, they were dead. They didn't yes. know. Right. See? Good point right there, right? They didn't even know. They, know they, were, they were dead. dead. They didn't Walking even know. Around, yes. Living their life. Right. Dead. Yes. Yes. 
because they're other. Mm -hmm. Are you an other? Yeah. Don't be an other. Be a the. Be, be a right. the. Amen. Be the these was the others. That's right. <laughs> Life Bye. and death. Yes. Be in thee. That's a choice. Be of the living. That's right. Living God. That's you right. You know, I was looking, you know, you get a great verse, verse here. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, I was looking, you know, I was looking at it and see how it was talking about um, uh, in verse 8. Mm -hmm. that's chapter, and it said, a stumbling stone, a stone stumbling in the rock of offense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, and, and that's the reason why they can't get this doctrine. That's right. Because their heart, right. they've not fixed uh -huh. their heart, right. they've not humbled themselves, and they don't fear God. They don't. So if you can't, it's a, it's a, and I love it, a stum, a stone of stumbling, a rock of offense, even mm. to them which stumble at the word, mm. being disobedient. Disobedient. Well, you can't, see, that's the key thing about uh -huh. Israelite. Like, you must obey. You can't go off and create your own righteousness. Mm -hmm. no. no. I got a prayer call. I got my own thing. But I got a it prayer doesn't off. work. It doesn't I got all these things. I mean, can't wear this and mend this and all this kind of yeah. craziness. Yeah. Right? It's you got. If you don't have a beard, you're not righteous. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. It doesn't say in the scripture that. No. It doesn't say that. No. Crazy not righteous. Come on. Mm -hmm. If, if you, you can't uh, shave <laughs> this and do this and all kind of mm -hmm. craziness. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what? You are other. Yeah. Not a the. Yeah. Because if you were a the, you would realize that. It's not required. You have a beard, not have a beard. That's right. It's not a requirement. That's right. It's not the truth. No. You, you know? know, and I think about, you know, even with Jesus, when as he walked and, and mm -hmm. walked the earth and was teaching, and, you know, it's, it's just really sad because so many just discounted mm -hmm. and they couldn't hear. And he was perfection mm -hmm. right there before them. And just abused and mistreated and, and disregarded and yes, you know, for those who you didn't even know, and you know, it, let's, let's let's think about it. When yes. Jesus lived, he walked. Yes, and then he spoke of parables. Yes, because why? Because because he realized some the, right. He realized, and hey, we talked yeah. some. Yeah, they might get it. That's right. Right, yes. but he know their heart said, "Nah, right. you can't get this. And, and, I'm not going to tell you what, what what it is." But you so know what? Parables. And and if people, if they're and if, this is the way it is mm -hmm. too. If if like the you remember even um, after Jesus had passed, and mm -hmm. there were those that wanted to take it and make money. Mm -hmm. They wanted to profit like today. off of it. Yes, <laughs> they wanted to profit, and so you don't want to. It's like. Jewels, diamonds. Mm. You're not going to give that to someone that's not going, that right. doesn't deserve it. That's not, you right. know what I'm saying? They have to, again, their conditions mm. to understanding and to getting this. And that's why the world can't get it. They don't, yeah. if you're not, if you don't subscribe and do what thus saith the Lord yeah. and follow his instructions, they don't deserve yeah. this knowledge. They don't deserve it. And the way he set it up, if if we don't if we don't humble ourselves and obey him and fear him, it it can't. It's it's almost like that space, that area of righteousness. In it, you know, there is so much available to you. And when you're not in that that arena, in that that sphere of righteousness, everything that's contrary. It's like it's repelled. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, because it's, it's what repelled. It says. You, you, Only you a few can. will get this. Yes. And wide is a gate for destruction. That's, that's right. That's what it is. All, is there so many? It's Life big, or well, death. I'm doing right. I'm doing yeah. this. Yeah. No, you not. can't be a good person and get this. You can't. Right. You, you, you have to be, you know, set your, you have to humble yourself and just accept that, hey, I'm just, I'm not what I used to, because that's what we had to right. do. I'm not the person. Yes, but, I'm a good but, person. But I don't hurt anybody. What? Good meaning, right? Like, keeping the, the law, right? Because no, no, no. Like Jehu, this guy, yes. they fear Jehu. Yes. <laughs> they fear Jehu. <laughs> they, when he was being king, man said, you're going to be king, ran the door. He was out of yeah, here. Right, right. You know, so yeah, so make sure, like, good, right? Right. Because you always say, well, I'm not being good. It's all right. That, that's no, what I'm that's, saying. That's, 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 not, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's no. Not enough. No, exactly. Right. You have to be, but because there are so many people that are, and that's such a sad situation because mm -hmm. can you imagine oh, the multitude that have lived their life being good people and thinking <laughs> that they're going to go to heaven yeah. and, you know, everything is going to be 
Okay. It's not. Why Can you be? imagine the disappointment, the shock, the shock <laughs> and awe that they're going to have? You know, I, I can't imagine that. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to tell you. I remember, um, I remember uh, 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 many years ago, mm -hmm. this lady, and I think I may have shared this, um, she was a nurse, but she worked with, you know, hospice. Okay. And I remember she said, the people that um, that oh, were man. worse, you remember me telling you this, the people... I've seen it. i see it personally in hospice, yeah. Yeah, yeah she yeah. said, in hospice, the people that are the worst when it comes to dying are Christians. Yeah. Because yeah. what they've been taught to believe, yeah. you know, you're going to heaven and all of that. But when they see what's coming... Yeah to them, they're in, sh it's shock and they're terrified. Yeah. She said, they're, they're the, wor wor the worst when it comes to death. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's a sad yeah, situation, yeah. you know. Can you imagine you have spent your life, you know, uh, spent your life, you know, believing in something and, and you really don't. So with that, um, and what we're gonna go ahead and do next, uh, Elder Dexter, is go into Isaiah 51, one through seven. Okay. Hearken unto me in verse uh, 50, well, chapter 51, verses um, 1 through 7, and it reads, Hearken unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. I love this. Look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Mm -hmm. So Israel, Jacob, remember from where you came. Because we've forgotten. We've forgotten that that truth, mm -hmm. that history has been forgotten mm -hmm. by Jacob. Yeah. All right. Either forgotten or don't quite understand. Yeah. Because people think, you know, Abraham and all the kind of There's stuff, some, you know. They belong to somebody else. Yeah. They don't. No. And, you know, and I just, I love it. So we have to go back to, you know, your father and, and remember our mother, Sarah, you know. Um, and, you know, and I say that out of all the people on this planet, Elder Dexter, mm -hmm. The children of slavery, we are the, the most spiritual. We are. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're the most spiritual, yeah. spiritually receptive of all. You know, no one's like us when it comes to yeah. spirituality, you know? Yeah, that's um, true. And it's part we. Of our, it's part of our DNA. It is, yeah. it is who we, we are. are. It is in us. It is you know, our essence. Even, even when we're not doing right, the Jacobites. That's right. And they say is. Thank, thank God. God. That's right. Thank God. Exactly. Yeah. Like, other people don't do that. No. No. And no. They, they do that because they're around us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know. But that's just it's come to us naturally. Naturally. Even if, even if you got yeah. Jacobites who don't, who, you know, who don't do anything, they're gonna still they do stay, that. That's it's right. In them. That's right. It's, it's just it's just the way we're made, and yeah. and that the our father is Abraham. Our mother was Sarah. Yeah. That's the that's the lineage. That's where we come from, mm -hmm. and we can't believe, you know, um, you know the 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 false narrative. You know, yeah. when we have to tell our our story, our true story. Um, so and I, and I love it. And sin and go continue to say, for the Lord shall comfort Zion, he shall comfort all her waste places, mm -hmm. and he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord joy and gladness shall be found therein thanksgiving and the voice of melody i mean we we need as a people we need jacob needs comfort mm -hmm. jacob is laid waste right now look i mean look at the news look outside your window i mean mm -hmm. look all around we are like a wasteland, a barren land, and we need comfort of right. everyone. And we need is, the comfort of our God. And the thing is this, the whole world mm -hmm. needs, needs us to stand us. up. Yes. See, he would, he, he, yes. they won't tell you that, they don't, but the yes. whole world, world needs us. you 
Jacobites, yes. Israelites, yes. to stand up yes. and stand in your position yes. and do what you were made to do. Destined you were to called do. to do this. Yes. To lead the people, to lead yes. the nations, to yes. teach them about your God. Yes. The only true and living, living God. God. That's your job That's to do. Right. That's right. And the world is waiting. Yes. Yes. Why sit there? Yes. Get up and do your job. Yes. Take your position. Yes. Right? When when Amen. when a general commands his army, he don't just sit down. <laughs> if he, he does, says, attention. If he does, he gets shot. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get attention. And you, you get right. You yes. straighten up. Yes. It's yes. it's break to do. It's yes. a battle going on. Yes, it is. Yes, a it is. A spiritual battle. Amen. So you must do what you must do. That's right. Do what you are Call. made to do. That's right. All to do. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Now listen. I know we have to have some fire and sevens put in the chat mm -hmm. right now because that's an amen and right. amen and hallelujah. Right. Yeah. That that really is. Yeah. Because it is the truth. That's who we are. Who we are. And 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 look, he oh, is Imagine going, it though. The whole world, world is waiting for you. Yes. It's waiting for you. Yes. Because they know not they have no clue. That's right. They have that's no clue. Right. No. No. Our children talking about how I know how world can be the the atmosphere, all this stuff. Yeah. It's because of you, because right. you haven't we. done. Right. What's the world worth With. if the people that have chosen that's right to serve him that's aren't right. doing right? That's right. That's exactly. What is it right. worth saving? Right. Right. And and you know, but you know what? Listen. And the enemy doesn't want us yeah, you know. to walk in that place no. of chosen royal priesthood peculiar people yes. because as long as we don't walk in our truth and we don't accept that uh, assignment from our god they continue to be in power and do yeah. what they want to do and mistreat us yeah. worse than they treat their animals you know yeah. what i'm saying so come home and do what is right and yeah. do what you were created yes. to do yeah. you know um, you'll be a happier person. You'll be more fulfilled. You'll understand. You'll be able to see the blinders that come off. You'll It'll be like hope. the Matrix. Be yes. Hope. See, a right purpose. now, a lot of you are hopeless. They have no hope. Yes. You don't want this going on. You don't yeah. want to do. Yeah. And, and, and fighting and killing and hurting each other. Mm -hmm. But that's a self hatred. For pennies. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's just so sad. Robbing banks, robbing the corner store. Yeah. And for what? I mean, for nothing. It just makes no sense. Um, but anyway. He will make her wilderness like Eden. So this, this, the life that is full of death, mm -hmm. darkness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He will make it like Eden, like the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve, they were able to have everything at their disposal. Mm -hmm. They just had to tend it. They had everything. They didn't have to do anything. They didn't have to work hard. It was, it was lovely, perfection. Uh, the Garden of God and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. I mean, we will have even more melody, you know, because we can sign, you know, with yeah. those of us with that gift to sing. Check out my melody. We bless. Yeah. <laughs> That's all Megan did. Check yeah. out my melody. Real melody, right? Yes. The, harmon the harmonizing, the, yes. the, the sounds of peace. Yes, yes. And prosperity. Yes, exactly. Hey. Check out my melody. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then it goes on, verse 4. Hearken unto me. Hearken unto me, yes. my people. It's like he's begging us. I have it all. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, my nation. I mean, look, isn't that like pleading for us? Mm -hmm. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. Why are you sitting there? Oh. Why you don't sit there? If you, if you just learn about mm -hmm. this Israel, uh, this great nation, don't sit there. That's right. Right. Click on the Come click on. on the thing below. Yes. And, and join this link. nation. Yes. Right. Yes. Be accountable for. Yes. Uh, stand up for your God, your people. That's right. If not for yourself, for your children, That's for your right. family, yeah. stand up Nieces, and do what's nephews. right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Um, because, like you said, the world is waiting on us. They don't know, but we know. Right. You know, and I think because there are so many lies that have been told, mm -hmm. that's difficult. Yeah. Because again, 
when we're the best, we're the best. When mm -hmm. we're the worst, we yes. are just the worst. It's all wilderness, man. He's here making his golden calves, yeah. you know? The good, wait, listen, the good, bad, and the ugly. Boy, you know, you got it all, right? Yeah, and it's we embarrassing, it but I mean, it's the truth. It's, it's just the way that man. it is. So when we walk in that space, it is beautiful. And then it go on to verse five, and it says, my righteousness is near. God is telling us his righteousness is near. My salvation, I've sent it out. He sent it out through that, our Messiah. He sent out salvation. And then we bring it. And he says, and my arms shall judge the people. The arms are Israel. Yeah. We are in the world doing his bidding. We're doing what thus saith the Lord. So it's like, because he's, he's a spirit. So we have to be those arms. And, 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 and then we have to... Uh, it says, and my arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me. And on my arm, they shall they trust. So on his people, mm -hmm. they shall trust. You know, because they bring forth the righteousness right. that he speaks of. Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke. And the earth shall wax old like a garment, and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Mm -hmm. So when everything around us is being destroyed and just, mm -hmm. you know, don't worry about any of that. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that because the earth... The earth that we live in, it is going to go away. There is going to be a new heaven and a new earth. So when all of that is gone, everything is old, everything that is that we see with our eyes, it is all going to be gone. When all of that is gone, what he says is his righteousness, what thus said the Lord, his word, his laws, his statutes and commandments will still be forever. Yep. That will always be. So everything else is going to pass away, but what thus saith the Lord will never, it will always stand. And he says, hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be afraid of their revelings. So don't be afraid of this other foolishness that people are going about in the world, back and forth talking this, that, that craziness. You know, his salvation his righteousness is going to be with uh, with his people. His law is going to be with his people. So when all the other stuff, the noise around is happening, don't even worry about that. Yes, Elder Dexter? That is so true. Don't I'm, even I'm, worry I'm, about I'm looking it. at verse 7 and hearken to me. Yeah. You know, at, at those three little words, hearken to me. me. That, that, that is so, yes. that is so full. Yeah, it is. Because people, again, people, and it says what? It says what? Those you that know righteousness, yes, right. See, first of all, you you can't you want to listen to them because you don't know righteousness, right? Right, and you know righteous, you can't hurt. That's to right. Them. That's so correct. It plays with each other. It plays. It, it it's 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 together. Right. It, it, it there's just, no separation. Right. Together. It's just, you just know. And and, yeah. and those of you you know when we question you know about the about the name of God or mm -hmm. or the seventh day or these things, right? And it says hearken unto me. It says what yes. we we read the children of Israel. Here Israel. We read Israel all the time. Never we read Hebrew Israelite. No. Not one not one time. Not Christian. Not a one Judaism, time we read it. Not, none of that stuff. Catholicism. Not none of that any, stuff. Yeah. None. Israel, the right. children of Israel. Israel. So we Israel. read. Israel. Right? Israel. That's all we read was That's that. Right. right. So how come you don't hear that? Right. How come you don't see that? That's right. So uh, on a, on when you go on, on the shrine on Sunday, you see Christian. Christian. Right. How come how come God never says Christian? Yeah. yeah. He never says Christian. No. Ever, no. never, no. in both testaments, mm -hmm. God never said Christian. Mm -mm. He never said Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. Ever, mm -hmm. and it's it's just so clear oh. all the way through the scriptures, all the way. Hear, O Israel, the children Hebrew. of Israel, 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 Israel. I mean, and and everybody carries a Bible. Well, not everybody, if you're not. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody you got it at home. You got, you got the big, thick one, right? It's the big Israel. With your, with your all the way in it. through. But you can't understand. Yeah. It says, hero Israel. Nothing else. Yeah. How can you can't see that? Yeah. yeah. How, what's the problem? Yeah. Yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. But you know what? Again, if, if, and they, they haven't placed themselves. If they, if you can't see, 
you've not put yourself in that place of reception, mm -hmm. which is required. You have, you, again, you have to acknowledge, mm -hmm. you have to humble yourself, and you have to kind of want right. to see and it. Humble. People are humble. If, it, if, if you're not, it, it's not. not. They want to serve, they yeah. want to do. You're not going to. They're going to follow somebody's kitchen, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Who, 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 who should you learn from? The scripture? <laughs> awesome dude. Yeah. His, we, his real name is Willie <laughs> Willie Jenkins. He calls himself Elder. This 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 other other thing, right? Mm -hmm. Willie, mm -hmm. sit down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it says Hero Israel. Uh, yes. So Willie, all the way. It says Hero Israel, but you say Hebrew Israelite. Mm -hmm. Willie, come on, some something, something ain't added up. <laughs> Willie, come on now, yeah. stop the stuff. Because yeah. <laughs> that's just Speak not truth, gonna... Willie. Yes. Exactly, but it's just Willie, Billy, all them guys out there, the crazy yes. names, they change their names. Yes, who told you to change your name? Who yeah. said that? Yeah, who told you to change your name? Yeah, and, and that's on. that's scary to change your name because right. if you do on that day when in the book of life, that the word mm -hmm. is recorded, right. your name is recorded there, and if you've changed it like, and your name is called and you've changed your name, you don't, you're not even going to remember that. Right. Name. Like, like, who you call my, my name is Willie. <laughs> So, my name is uh, El Sos, El Yahu, Yahu Dabo, Scuba Dabo, Jim Yah. You're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna lose. You're gonna, you, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it. Man. Now, Elder Dexter, yes. real quick, what I wanted to do is mm. talk about, real quick, just one scripture. Yeah. Who are the saints? You know, and, okay. and we talk about the saints. Saints are Israelites right. alive or those that have passed on already. Right. So it's. Israel, 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 not people that have died that are part of Catholicism, Christianity, yeah, they on these the images they have in their church. Hood, this, 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 that. That, Come on. That's not what the scriptures. That stuff, that's not man. what the scriptures are saying. So let's go to Psalm one forty nine, yeah. and and we're just going to start Psalm Psalm one forty nine. The first verse says, "Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song." And his praise is in the congregation of saints. The congregation of God will be in the Israelite mm -hmm. temple yeah. where his people are in the congregation of Israel. You know, and um, let's see, verse 2. Verse 2, yeah, verse 2. Yeah, verse 2. Let Israel, mm -hmm. let Israel. So the congregation of the saints let Israel rejoice in him that made him. So you're in the congregation singing his praises, that new song. Israel, that's Israel. Let the children of Zion, yeah. the children of Israel, be joyful in their king. It didn't Again. say Christian, did it? No. Or, or the, the Catholic <clears throat> Church. It didn't Muslim? say that kind of stuff. No, no. Because they, no. they didn't want to get the thousand, a thousand <coughs> saints, right? They got, they got a thousand saints Excuse for me. every day. Yes. You know, yes. Saint, of, saint of drinking the gla water, right. Saint of the, pen, the pencil. Mm. They got all these things they got. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, yes. it's crazy. Where is that in the scripture? It's not. No, it you isn't. Know, come on. It isn't. Just, see, y'all know better. See, what it is is people of power, they love power. That's they right. They love power. That's right. And they know people are ignorant. Right. That's right. They look up to you. They, they and yes. ignorance, ignorance. That's right. I say to you, make them accountable. Wake up. Yes. You ask them. When you go to your shrine or wherever you go to worship, you ask them. Yes. If you read, you read the scripture, if you're, if you're a Muslim, you read the Quran. That's something else. Yeah. You know, and we're not yeah. done the, the Bible right here, mm -hmm. right? So <laughs> if you ask your, your preacher, Excuse me. say, preacher, I'm seeing Israel, 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 Israel. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say spiritual Israel. It says Israel. Mm -hmm. So you call us Christians, right? God never said Christian. Mm -hmm. Jesus never said Christian. So why are you, Pastor, the leader of this shrine? <laughs> why are you saying Christian? Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. See, ask him that. <laughs> ask him that. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Right? Tell him. You know, it's go by the scriptures. Don't go by well. Don't, and don't let him say, well, well, mm -hmm. son or daughter, go home and pray on it. <laughs> I say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I ain't gotta pray on it. This is scripture right here. Yeah. It says right here. Now you tell me, what's that mean? Mm -hmm. Ask him. And guess what? If he can't answer, your question, because he can't answer your question. You say, you know what? You come, Please. you come see us. Mm -hmm. You come see us. Amen. Amen. Come see us. Seven, we'll seven, show you. Sevens and fires in the chat room. <laughs> Amen. Amen, Elder Dexter. Now let's jump down real quick to um, the last verse that I want to read. But I want you to read the whole the whole chapter. 
Um, and verse 9 says, to execute, now again, we're talking about Israel. Mm-hmm. All, the whole thing is just perfect. Um, to execute unto them the judgment written. This honor has all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Mm-hmm. And that goes back to, you know, um, Isaiah, Isaiah 54, 17, where he talks about, you know, Israel, we will have to judge mm-hmm. the judgment that is written. This, it, we have to execute that judgment that is written in the scriptures. Yeah. This is the honor of all the saints, Israel. Yeah. This is what we're going to have to yeah. do. So this is what it's talking about. So that's who the saints are, Israel. Okay. So, Elder Dexter, let's see. Let's go on to what are the conditions required for Isaiah 54, 17 to apply to you? And conditions. Oh, there's conditions in the Bible. <laughs> no, I thought God was a guy with all conditions. You can do whatever. Yes. As long as you say his name. No. Right? No. That's what they say, right? Yes. Uh, all well, you got to do is believe. True. No. Conditions. No, I got it. No. That's the, <laughs> that's the Old Testament God. Mm-mm. Listen to God. He has no conditions. But the, the God, the God of the the Old Testament God, He's the same today, yesterday, right. and forever. He's never going to change, and He's a God of law. Come, you know? Yeah. Like, so come on, your parents got conditions. <laughs> if, they, if, they, if they don't, I bet you a wild child. Mm-hmm. I bet you a wild child, right? <laughs> <laughs> The president has conditions. That's right. Are you serious? That's Everybody right. have them. That's Let's not right. live in this fantasy world with la la and lollipops and stuff. Come Correct. on. Let's be let's be honest and true. That's right. right. You must have conditions. Love. You must have if you if you're a, a newly married couple, mm-hmm. there's conditions. That's what? Right. To be honest. To not cheat on me. Right. Right? To tell me the truth. Right. Those are conditions. Mm-hmm. Everybody has conditions. Elder Dexter, when we leave here, mm-hmm. you better obey the law. Right. Run through the light. Right. Run through the uh, the red light and right. see what you get a ticket. Exactly. I mean, life, everything, there are laws. You have rules and regulations that you have to follow on your job. Yes. If you're dealing, you interacting with the public on your job, you whatever mm-hmm. you do, you're interacting with each other, yep. there are... There are um, procedures, processes, and procedures that are in place. We all come yeah. on now. Go to your boss. Life. Hey, boss, I have no conditions. Boss, okay. <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> my conditions, but you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, so what we're going to do now, and this is, I mean, this, and we've you've heard me say several times, you know, this is one of the books that we've all that brought us all in, mm. right? This rang true for all of us. So let's go to do the book of Deuteronomy, uh, sure. chapter 28, and we're going to start with verse 1 and read through 13. And it says, and it now going again, we're talking about the conditions by which Isaiah 57 14, um, uh, that, you know, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Okay, so. Um, and it says, and these are the conditions by which this applies to Israel. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So to hearken diligently, you're going to be on point. You're going to again, earnestly. Hearken, hearken again, right? That's right. Hearken diligently, earnestly unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth so if we're not high above all nations of the earth that means that we've not observed right, his laws statutes and commandments we've not observed this so if we're low so we're going to go ahead and continue so I mean Everything is so, it's just such perfection. It's perfection and it's full, it's pregnant. And then verse 2 and it says, And all these blessings shall come unto thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto, if, if, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Everything, Elder Dexter. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. Everything you touch, whatever you do, the, the, your fruit, what you have in your basket, 
you know, your, you know, your, 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 your job, you know, everything, your, your, everything. If you're, uh, whatever, you know, it's talks about, and this is the time in that time they had fruit and vegetables. And so whatever you have, you know, our, your job, your home, you know, as you go out and come in, whatever you do, it's going to be blessed, right? Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies to rise up against thee, uh, to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way, and shall flee thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And the Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto him, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in them. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods and in fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy cattle and of the fruit of thy ground and the land which the Lord uh, swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure and the heaven to give the, to give the rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend to many nations. Are we lending to anybody? And they shall, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. We today are the tail. And thou shalt be above and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou, if thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Now, this is a mouth full. So clearly, if we keep the law statutes, and if we hearken unto the law statutes and commandments of our God, if we diligently, obediently, I mean fervently obey him, these are going to be the blessings. We will be blessed all the way around. The windows of heaven, our Father's riches, we will have. We see the same thing when we look at Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, you know, Job, all of the, our foreparents that obeyed God. They were blessed. And, and, and not only were they blessed, those people that were good and took care and blessed Israel, they were blessed because they blessed Israel. That's the kind of wealth that we're talking about. We don't really have to really, we're not really concerned about money, money like that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But we need those things as a resource because that's what's required in this monetary system that we live in. Um, but every, all of our needs are met. We don't have to really worry, worry about, oh, what am I going to, we don't have to worry like that. Let, that. let the Gentiles and others do that. That's what the scriptures say. Because our Father, He is the creator of all things, right? And if the birds, if the birds and the animals, if He makes sure they're fed and they eat, you know what I'm saying? And they're not going hungry, who are we? We are, He, we were created in His image. He created us in His image. So we're going to be taken care of as well. But if we don't do what thus saith the Lord, going out and coming in and giving others and not borrowing, we're not here, you know, but we are walking in this space. Now we are walking and we see the blessings of our God. We see his protection. You know, even in our lives as Israel, I think about this kind of protection that he's talking about. Um, there are those of us and all of us have our stories. There, every one of us have had, we have our stories. Those that have not been good to us, that have mistreated us, that have not, that have, have, have said harsh words against us, that have done things against us. We have seen people, now we've not done anything to try to hurt anybody because we would never do that. But we have seen people die unexpectedly. We have seen, um, we have seen people lose their jobs. We have seen people demoted. We have seen, you know, 
deformity, you know. We've seen all kind of things, right? Yeah. We've seen others that try to hurt us. We've seen things happen to them, you know. Um, so we have this kind of protection from our God. And it's, it's such a blessing to have this because, you know, am I gonna do anything to jeopardize that? That protection, no. Are you Elder Dexter? I'm pretty sure you're not. And those of you out there, you're not. And I know my brethren, you know, those that, that have businesses, that have traveled, that whatever, you have seen people in your own personal lives, my Israelite brethren, that have come up against you, that have tried to hurt you, that other things that have happened to them, you know, unbeknownst to you, later on you find out, oh my gosh, what happened to so-and-so? Oh yeah, they've been dead, something happened. Mysteriously, you know what I'm saying? We Things happen. You cannot mess with the children of God and think that nothing's gonna not happen. You know, that's what his word says. His word is gonna stand regardless. Amen and amen. And if you like what you hear, put some fire and sevens in the chat. Fire, fire it you know? up. Fire it up. Fire it up. Um, now, Elder Dexter, you want to add anything? Well, I came with add with that thing, you true. Because this is <laughs> what I mean, it it's is. like. But I can't it's say. Clear, that's, right? It has me. We 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 said earlier. Oh. You are the and you are the. Yes. You get that. that. Yes. You get those. Yes. Blessings. Yes. Like, again, you are other. You don't get any blessings. Oh, but let, let, right? let, but let me just say this, and I, I'm not even going to go mm -hmm. into it, but. Let's just, I'm going I'm to read three things, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to read two. Now, you see the blessings. The blessings from, let's see, uh, bless, verse three to... Oh, boy. <laughs> to... <laughs> to what did I go to? 14. Yeah. Okay, all of that, those are the blessings. Listen, that is pregnant. That's full. That covers everything. But if you don't do that... And it goes out, and now it says, verse 15, But if thou shalt, listen, but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, I'm not going to even read anymore. I want you to read it. Verses 16 through 68. All the curses. Those are the curses. Bam. <laughs> Sevens. <laughs> Fire in the chat. I'm serious. All of them curses. Because if you don't believe it and if you don't see yourself in here, something's wrong. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't see... The that history is, of the Jacobites, of, of us, of our, and this, yes. and our, this land alone. Yes. If you don't, if you don't see that, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. And wherever we are on this planet, yeah. wherever we've been yes. on this planet, if you haven't seen the curses on us, this fits nobody else, no other nation right. on this I, I planet. Say that. I can say it. I can say, say there's no one in the world mm -hmm. been treated the way the no. children of Jacob has been treated. That's right. Nobody. Amen. No one. Amen. People had their tough times, but it's good. It's, it's continued mm -hmm. flow mm -hmm. of this treatment, mm -hmm. oppression. That's right. Death, mm -hmm. slavery, and the stories get worse, worse and, and, and worse, worse and worse. worse. Yes. It don't change. No. So, and, and you see it. It's in the scriptures mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. documented. Yes. We have to open our eyes and see mm -hmm. and stop trying to uh, uh, create, create this this philosophy yeah. and found us. Instead, hearken to the word it That's says. Yes. Specifically says, again, hear O Israel. That's right. Hearken Israel. That's right. Hearken That's the right. laws, statutes, and commandments. commandments. Mm -hmm. Obey your God. Yes. Amen. Not obey man. That's right. Serve the God of Israel. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, one of the things I want you, I'm not going to have you write down, write this down, because I know we're, uh, I'm, I'm not sure how much time we have, but what I want you to jot down and read this, this is so sweet, the obedience of our God, jot down Exodus 19 verses 3 through 6. That is lovely. I wanted to touch that, but what we're going to do now is to gonna go ahead and transition into uh, weapons formed against the God of Israel and the children of Israel, okay? Um, so, you know, the weapon that we all know, and this is the one that I was going to talk about. Come on, we, we, he delivered us from, from, 
He delivered us from Egypt. Mm -hmm. We so let's just Elder Dexter. We're not gonna go in and we're not gonna. So when well yeah, let's go to Exodus real quick. Let's go to Exodus. Exodus one. Let's go to Exodus one. And well, Elder Dexter, let's just talk about it. Mm -hmm. In Exodus, at the beginning, mm -hmm. we know how uh, what happened when. You know, uh, the children of Israel at the beginning, how they had gotten up really, uh, let's see, where was I at? Exodus 1, 8. Now, let's, yeah, but let's go here and let's just start off. Now, there rose a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on. Let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, and it come to pass that when there fall us out any war, that they join our enemies and fight against us. And so what they did as a result of that, they oppressed the children of Israel in Egypt. So it became grievous, mm -hmm. so bad that um, in their jealousy, they, um, and, and, Israel, again, the God of Israel had blessed them so much that they were multiplying his word, just what he said, how they would be blessed coming in, going out, the children, you know, their seeds. So they were having all of these beautiful little babies. And because of that, you, you, you have to end that. So what they did was uh, all the boys, they, you know, kill the boys. Yeah. And that, that was the command they gave the, well, uh, the it's midwives. Not, it's not new, right? It's, it's something no, done today. same thing here today. So they killed. Uh, they were asked to kill, but we know how our mighty Moses came out of this. And then, of course, we know that how that increased. And, and Moses grew up and uh, grew up in the house of Pharaoh, raised by the, uh, the sister of Pharaoh. And of course, we know his mother raised him, taught him about his people. And of course, he had to leave after he, you know, killed the Egyptian that had, had um, that abused uh, brethren. And then, of course, he went into the mountains. God called him. I mean, we know the story. Right. We know it all. Because of time, we know the whole thing. But we know what happened. We know the place of Egypt. I mean, all of it. The, the first Passover, you know, um, and, you know, all the ten plagues of Egypt and how the firstborn was um, was killed. All the firstborn of Egypt were killed. I mean, we, we, we know all of that. But what I want to get to really quickly, and, and we also know Pharaoh. Pharaoh and his host, they all drowned in the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. They drowned in the Red Sea. Our God doesn't play. You there mess you with his children. Moses uh, parted the Red Sea. The children of Israel went through on dry land. And once they went through, there was, uh, you know, here Pharaoh. And it's, 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 so, it's so amazing how even in what happened and what he saw, you know, but again, you can't play with this God. He hardened his heart, hardened his heart. And he was, but God is going to always get the glory. He is always going to get the glory. And that's exactly what we see. And he definitely got the glory out of this. So, uh, but what I was going to read, if we had the time, was go to Exodus uh, 14. So let's just jump over real quick. Exodus 14. And... What I wanted to get to, but what I definitely must get to is the, before we close today, I definitely must get to the great news, okay? Um, so no weapon, again, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And we see, let's go, I'm gonna, let's go real quick. Um, let's jump down to 14 and we know Verses 1, and of course we know, uh, yeah, let's jump down to verses 14. <clears throat> okay. 
And so we see that children of Israel have gone through, um, they were there by the, um, they were there in the desert by the, at the wilderness at the base of the mount. Um, I'm sorry. Are you going to read it? Yeah, I was going to go really quickly. Okay, so let's go to 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So we see here where um, the Egyptian, the, the children of Israel, they see, they've seen uh, Pharaoh and his army coming towards them. So of course, they're right there by the sea and they feel like it's, oh gosh, we're trapped. So they're afraid. So Moses is saying, um, you know, fear ye so not. The is in this, is the sea That's and, right. And Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's coming. And they're right. right, exactly. And so they're afraid. And that's that's a natural reaction. I would be afraid. Mm -hmm. And so he says, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show uh, to you, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them no more again forever. <laughs> the Lord never shall you see them again. There you go, right? You said earlier, right? <laughs> you see, said it right there. Never will Egypt be like it was before. That's never, right. never, never. And it and, and it's never recovered. Never, never, exactly. And the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Uh, and uh, the Lord said unto Moses, okay, so anyway, so he goes in and then let's really quickly jump down to 21. And the Lord and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. So, uh, so stretched out the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back uh, by the east wind all night. So he's parted the sea. And then, of course, the children of Israel, they go through upon dry land. Dry so they're going land, right? through this. Not uh, muddy. No, not muddy. Not muddy. Dry land. Exactly. Dry land. So the children of Israel, they've gone through on dry land. And the God of Israel has blown his nostrils. It's dry perfection. No mud like in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> um, and it came to pass. So verse 24. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the cloud of pillar and of, I'm sorry, through the pillar of fire and the cloud of pillar and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us free, flee from the face of Israel and the Lord, uh, for the Lord <laughs> fighteth, uh, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, stretch forth thy hand um, thy hand over the sea, that the waters may come over upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. And so Moses did just that. Yeah. Close it up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Close it up. Dang. And the waters returned, verse 28, and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. And that, that there remain not one of them. One. And then, of course, it talks about the children of Israel that they walk through. And, you know, listen. When we do... Yeah, I see this right. I remember in the movie, I think I met with uh, Sissy in the middle. But that, that, their Pharaoh came back. That, that she was sitting on the throne. That's what <laughs> I was just saying. Right? Right? That's not... Remember that? No. <laughs> Uh, he died, man. Your he Brenner, died. Your Brenner, right, your Brenner yeah. is not going to be. He didn't come back. He didn't make Pharaoh it out. did not come back. The door Here, was closed on him. closed. And right. all the, the entire army of Pharaoh Christ. and him were all destroyed. All Touch. Listen. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Yeah. And we see here they did not prosper. Now. What I want you all to read, there's another one, but I'm not going to go to because of time. Acts 12, 1 through 5. We'll just read Acts 12. And this in here, it talks about King Herod. I like it. Well, and and um, he doesn't give the God of Israel the glory that's due unto him when, you know, the people, they were saying when he was speaking, he was all bad, you know, yeah. uh, when Peter had put him in prison and all the Israelites had put them all in prison mm -hmm. uh, and mistreated them. And, you know, he was sitting there on his throne and uh, gave him this great speech. And then, of course, um, 
the people were, oh, it's the voice of a God. And he did not glorify God, so bam. He died right there and was eaten alive by worms. Um, so <laughs> read that. That's a good one, Acts 12. Now what we want to do, of course, and what we've been talking about today, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. We've talked about the conditions, who the the is, who the saints are. And the thing that is so beautiful about this, mm -hmm. you know, is that this is available to everyone. It is, but with the conditions that we've discussed and talked about today. So let's really quickly, we're going to go to 1 Kings 8, verses 41 through 43. So 1 Kings 8, <clears throat> and here we have, um, we have um, our King Solomon. He is finished with the temple and uh, dedicating. So let's go down. And, and this is important because, again, you know, you hear so many different groups, um, camps <laughs> that talk about, you know, that ask why we have, you know, um, why we have this, why we have that. And this is only for black people, but that's mm -hmm. not true. Okay. Our mandate is to teach all nations, and even the proof of that is here. You know, we see how King, um, King Solomon, he included and had, I, I love this, uh, he, had, he included strangers. So it says in uh, 1 Kings uh, chapter 8, verses 41 through 43, Moreover, concerning a stranger that is not of thy people Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, for they shall hear of thy great name and of thy strong hand and of thy stretched out arm, when he shall come and pray towards this house, Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all the people of the earth may know thy name, to fear thee, and to do as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have builded is called by thy name. So this stranger that is not of thy people Israel. They've come from far. They've come into this nation. And now they've heard this truth yes, and they've yeah. accepted this truth. Yeah. They've accepted our God. Yeah. They've accepted his laws, statutes, and commandments. The men have decided, I'm gonna obey this God. I have been circumcised. Yeah. You know, why would they not be available? Why would why would God turn his back? That's not the that's not that's the not God what he says desire. Here, right? No. Not what he says here. No. And if they if they call upon thee, hear thou in heaven. Yeah. Hear them as well. Hear their prayers. Right. Accept it. So this God cares about He's available to everybody, yeah. but you must keep his laws, statutes, and the commandments just like his children. You can't do your own thing. You can't. They have to do their own thing. The other thing I want you to, we're running out of time. The other thing I want you to read, Matthew 28, um, 28, 18 through 20. Our mandate is to teach all nations. Yeah. Teach all nations about our God, Man, about this culture, about this doctrine. Matter. Doesn't matter. Now, let's, we're going to finish up here, Elder Dexter. Let's go to Isaiah 5, uh, 56. So we're going we're gonna to wrap this up, Isaiah Isaiah 56. You know, it just always feels like I just never have enough time. There is just so much. There is so well, much. That, that's fine. And they can also they can, they can click on and, and click on the um, the, the link below. Mm -hmm. And they can have any questions. You go ahead and read the questions. Mm -hmm. You have some of your questions and we'll respond to you. Check out our website. Many things you can do. If you need more, we're going to feed you. If yes. you want more, just make sure you make it known. Yes. Come join us. Yes, exactly. Uh, please, please, please. If you have questions, again, click on it. Put your comments, questions in there. Um, now, again, the thing that I love about um, Isaiah, this this chapter here, 56, 1 through 8, um, this, is, this is strangers are included in this blessing. Right. Again, it's available to everybody. And it says, thus saith the Lord, Keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed 
is the man that doeth this, the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath uh, from polluting it, that keepeth the hand. So, I mean, look, all of this, all of this, take hold, neither let the son of the stranger. I mean, all of this is just such perfection. So in this blessing, in this, everyone is included. Mm -hmm. Everyone is included. He says, blessed is the man that doeth this. So if you're the man that you don't look like me or woman or child, whoever, if we obey our God, keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, this protection, his blessings are for everyone that comes into this nation. It is our mandate to keep his laws, his statutes and commandments and do what thus saith the Lord. Sure. It's available to everyone. And that's the good news that we have to share with you. Elder Dexter, what are you thinking? Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Well, I think, you know, for the last country is, is so important. Uh, again, we said earlier to hearken, mm -hmm. to listen to <clears throat> what Israel says, right? He says, keep it Sabbath, mm -hmm. don't pollute it. That's right. You know? So we got to understand um, the Sabbath. It didn't say new moon, but that's right. guess what? To keep the Sabbath, you got to keep the new, new moon. moon. That's right. You, you got to know. Yeah, because right. you can't keep the Sabbath if you don't want to know when the new moon is. Right. That's the first day of the month. Right. So, But it's yeah. so important that, you know, that if you want protection, if you are a person that you see the, the mistreatment, mm -hmm. the, the poverty, the, the way the children of Jacob, the diaspora, mm -hmm. is treated around the whole world, mm -hmm. this is your way to change it. Yes. This is your way to ensure that your children yes. uh, have a better life. We saw, we read, we read the blessings, right? The blessings that's were great. That's right. Who so, would not want those blessings? That's right, exactly. I want Blessed them. Blessed all the way around. Right, I want those blessings. You can't lose. Right, they yeah. <laughs> want those blessings. Yeah. I don't want to be cursed. No. Who wants to be cursed? No. <laughs> you know? I want a blessing. It's hard enough. So let's, let's make sure that we are doing what it says, what he says. That's right. In scripture. That's not what someone else tell you that's about right. it. Right. What he says. That's right. That's right. right. You know, and I, I just, I'm looking at this real quick. And take hold of my covenant. Mm -hmm. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and will make them joyful in my house of prayer. And go down to verse 8, and it says, mm -hmm. The Lord will gather the outcasts of Israel, saith. Yet I will gather others to him beside those that are gathered unto mm -hmm. him. Right. So it, it, it includes everybody. It includes... So we got to get this, yeah. this. I know, I know as, as, as Jacobites, we have this, yeah. this story that you know we were oppressed and we were enslaved. Mm -hmm. Our people don't, don't look like us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that, but I understand it was a reason for that. We must be accountable That's right. of what we done. That's our right. actions. That's right. Right? Exactly. And now that we are accountable, mm -hmm. let's not disobey. That's right. He says, teach all nations. nations. Right. See, it requires some healing, self-healing. Right. Yes. Right, yes. some healing. This doctrine is healing. Yes, it so is. Now that now we don't you know, we don't forget what, what took place. You right. don't forget, right. right? Right. But now you move forward mm -hmm. and grow and prosper mm -hmm. and make sure that you does you do thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And which require that you to teach other nations. That's right. So don't so don't be don't, don't be stuck up on this current thing. No, no. that's not that's no. not us. No, it's not, not us. No, you know, and there were those that were that looked different that they were part of you know helping right. us you know exactly you here, know, here in this country that's right. exactly right. right many many so again no weapon formed against against thee shall prosper every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of god and their righteousness is of me saith the lord and this is available to everyone that will obey our God's laws, statutes, and commandments and comes into this family. So again, if you want to join this family, go look down in the description, uh, description box, click, you know, submit your questions, your, yeah. your comments, you know, thank you so much for being with us today. We yes. really, really appreciate this. We've enjoyed it. I just feel like we always, I always run out of time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just so much, it's just so much. You know, in the scriptures, Isaiah, it's just 
to me, it's like the Psalms a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it is so full and it just, it's such a blessing. So enjoy, have a wonderful day. And um, thank you so much again. Peace.